I think uh, eight players. Yeah. And um, uh, including the nose guard and the tackle. That's what now they kind of separated the nose guard tackles, mm -hmm. the rush end, and the regular ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, the whole three, four, they're constantly rotating guys mm -hmm. in. Like, mm -hmm. like Coach Aiken just mentioned to us the other day, mm -hmm. he actually wants to rotate three groups in and out mm -hmm. if, if he can, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that kind of got us all excited and kind of, you know, gave us all the mentality to make all of each other, like, everybody better, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, they kind of give us a competitive edge, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we're all excited, you know, just ready to go, three, four. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, it's just, it's, it's so much fun. You know, it's, it's pretty much, it's, you just go out there and you just, it's mano a mano, you know, the guy in front of you, and mm -hmm. that's really all it is. So, mm -hmm. it's definitely a lot more fun than last year. Mm -hmm. Are you any bigger than you were this time last year? Uh, about I don't the, think you needed think to get. Just about the same, but probably a little stronger, a little leaner. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, when you say top eight, I gotta believe you're one of those top eight. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, but guys like Austin, yep, uh, uh, probably uh, Justin Holmes, Brevo, Mondo. I'm not gonna quote you, but who are some other guys that are right there at the top? Rex? Oh, Rex Mondo definitely. Yeah. He's most likely gonna start this year as the most. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gary Baker. Uh, we got two new guys that came in uh, mm -hmm. for the deal line. Uh, Ratu. Uh, Mafilo. Oh yeah. Okay. And, yeah. He's uh, right now. He can't really play yet in terms of yeah. really, He just got in. So. Yeah. And then uh, Wayne Kirby. Wayne Kirby. Yeah. So all these some new guys are gonna. Yeah. They're good. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you can tell just by lifting with them. Oh yeah. That's, you know, you guys are athletes. You can kind of see. You can kind of tell by looking at guys. Kinda, right? Yeah. Huh? Like, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, we've been around athletes our whole life. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's not so much a judgmental thing, you know. But, uh, I, guess, I guess you can, but mm -hmm. you know, we've worked all uh, really close the whole summer mm -hmm. of the D line in terms of conditioning, weightlifting, mm -hmm. extra work on the field, mm -hmm. which is uh, another huge part of you know our work this summer. And, uh, mm -hmm. I think we're all pretty comfortable together as a unit, and we're just ready to push forward. Hey, just one more thing. And clearly, all you guys are major Division One players, but you came in as a five star, I believe, mm -hmm. which depends upon what you how you judge ratings. Yeah. But a lot of times, fans and people in the media. They look at, hey, this is a year for Canton to step up. He's a five star player. He's a good player. Do you feel that uh, pressure or just a need to step up and, and be a player? Well, you know, for me, regardless uh, of your ranking, you know, everybody should, you know, always put full effort, you know, not for yourself, but for the team as well. Right. And, you know, um, I'm definitely, you know, giving it all, everything I can every day, every mm -hmm. single day of the year. You know, mm -hmm. last year, I've, I've done everything I could in terms of preparation. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a great honor to be called a five star and all that. And I guess it does feel kind of cool, but I try not to let that, you know, strain me. I just try to do me and, you know, do the best I can and everything I can do possible. You know, so. Yeah, being a five star from Hawaii, you come here and look at a fellow Hawaiian who's the number four pick in the draft. Mm -hmm. You probably know the competition's a little different here, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. How are you healthy wise? Because I know you had, what, one or two concussions? Yeah, two concussions last year, yeah. Are you, no. are you good now? No yeah, definitely I'm healthy right now. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to focus on this year. Yeah. You know, just really trying to stay on the field for as long as I can, I'll yeah. definitely be a way more positive impact to the team. You know, it definitely was a, a letdown for me last year to be, you know, mm -hmm. setback after setback. And by the time I'm fully recovered, it's the end of the season. You know, so, you know being healthy in the next few weeks is, uh, is key. Mm -hmm. And Rex is good too. Yeah, Rex is he's, he's your good friend. He yeah. Uh, or did he have something he else that held him back? Um, I don't really remember. But anyway, he's healthy too. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll let you go. Thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck to you in training camp. Thank you. Ken, Matt Frank. Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. Pleasure. What's, what's different for you this time around from last year's fall camp? I mean, obviously, you're, you said like you're healthy, but mm -hmm. do things seem more natural to you or you kind of need to know where you need to be? You know, is there anything different about this fall camp for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, everybody here talks about your worst fall camp is your first fall camp. And, uh, you know, I already you know, feel comfortable You know, a lot of the coaches, where I'm supposed to be. I'm comfortable with uh, all my resources around me. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just ready to go. I'm excited for it. And, uh, you know, we had our first practice and a lot of bruises already, but, you know, it's... it's I missed it. You know, I'm happy, happy to be back. What's been your impressions through 15 practices in, in spring and now your first one of fall camp of, of the 4-3 compared to the 3-4 and, and your, your fit into that? I think, you know, because of spring ball and how hard we work, I feel like we've started at a notch ahead, you know. But uh, we definitely still have a lot to work on. You know, uh, the 4-3, however, is really simple, so I feel like we'll pick up on it really quick and uh, it's real fun. So. Where do you fit in that? I mean, I, I know... 
you can play a lot of different spots. Where do you where have you seen your fit within the form? Um, right now they have me in the interior, uh, sort of, uh, nose guard and, and uh, three technique, defense tackle, and, uh, and I love it. You know, I'm happy they put me there, and uh, it's really more of a physical. That's probably the least amount of technical stuff for, for in terms of a D line. Man, it's really uh, just mano a mano and just take out the guy in front of you. And uh, I think it's really fun, really natural. And uh, did you did you do that in, in high school? Uh, something similar. We, we ran a three four, but uh, our, I played defensive end. Right. And it was just uh, I played five and I just had C gap. Okay. And, and sometimes it would shift over and I'd be interior. But, you know, I had experience on in the interior. You know, in the last few years, the defensive lines had a lot of really talented upperclassmen and, and Buckner and Armstead and, and Dalzucci. Now it looks like it's a new wave has kind of come through of new talent, younger players. What's the you know the vibe of this group right now? Um, yeah, a lot of people say we're young, but you know I don't think you know age matters. Of course, experience matters, but it's really how hard you work and how, how well you cope as a team. And I think we've been coping really well. You know, all our new guys are really great guys. You know, in terms of the class, uh, just good good people overall. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for this group, and um, yeah, I trust all these guys. Even if they just came in a few weeks ago, I trust right. them in my life, and I'm, you know, I'm ready to make. I know you haven't put pads on yet, but what have you made of the offensive line? The guys that you kind of go up against in those seven-on-seven -seven workouts when the DBs are the and doing stuff. What have you seen out of that group? Oh man, uh, great. You know, even though we don't have pads, we still pretty much go full speed. And uh, you know, it doesn't offer today. These guys are strong. A lot of them got a lot faster, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to you know um, getting better in terms of going against them and all that. So. Mm -hmm. One last question, Henry Mondu. What does he mean okay. for for your group? Um, you know, uh, since I've been here, I've been closer, to Henry. You know. Uh, not only in terms of a good friend, but he's one of the guys that kind of showed me the ropes. Even though he was kind of younger, and, uh, it's been really interesting uh, watching him grow. You know, just from a good friend to uh, take on this, you know, this role of responsibility and uh, leadership. And, uh, it's crazy, you know. He's he's really taking it with a you know high head, and uh, he's been doing great. And you know, a lot of guys, you know, kind of draw into him. He's a great guy, really humble, uh, really probably one of our strongest guys, fastest guys too. And, uh, uh, he's hard not to follow, you know, so I'm excited for him. Is he kind of the leader of this group? Yeah, they're one of the main leaders. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I have one last question. Mm -hmm. So, Pokemon Go is a pretty big deal right now. <laughs> If one of the one of the coaches on the staff was gonna play Pokemon Go, who would it be? Uh, Coach Neil. Neil? Mm -hmm. He fits that criteria. <laughs> yeah, Coach Neil. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. I can go from I'm Jen. Whereas this one, you're just trying not to get stuff Perfect. Thanks. Henry. How's it going? Good. How are you, man? Are you leaving? Can I talk to you? Yeah. Can I get you real quick? Yeah. I'm going to go on the side of the How's your summer?